Hello and welcome back to Stellaris. So, before we get into this today, I just want to say that I have made some changes to the recording setup in terms of um, the quality of the recording, so please let me know if you see anything that's truly wrong. In theory, it should look a lot better as I've increased the bit rate so it's now 10 times what it used to be, so that should mean that everything looks just a little bit crisper, but hey, we'll see as we get into it. Anyway, um, let's have a look at what we got to do. So I think if I unpause, all of these sectors are about to fill up, and I think that's our main thing that we need to do right now. And we're integrating. Cool. All of that's good. Oh, the only other effect it may have on us, this recording thing, is it is now using the CPU, and it's going to be using, like, 6% of it instead of using 1%, so it might make the game run slightly slower, but we'll see. We'll see. If it does, we may need to make adjustments. Well, I may need... Mean, I may need to make adjustments, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, seems to be running about the same speed. It wasn't exactly going uh, stellar fast before because, well, we're late into the game. Ah, perfect. So all of these are now filled up. Uh, there's nothing new in any of them that we need to do. This one, though, is not part of a sector. Did I not create a sector? Yeah, that should be in that sector, right? Yes. Why is it not? Uh, I guess because it's not within four jumps of this thing. That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's something to do with me not having let the sectors solve itself before I, uh, like, save the game. So that is here. Where is the other one? Sorry, where is this one? This one is here. One, two, three, four? So within four jumps, it should join a sector, right? Yeah, this should be part of that sector, I think. Wait, yeah, yeah, even better, this one's in the middle, so that's one jump. I might just let the game go for a little bit and see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's fine. Continue chilling. No, we must have let that happen, because that was in a diff- that's- Yeah, because we already did this section, because th these were the guys who were most recently integrated. Hmm. So is there- a way of, like, getting it to reset sectors? Because this is obviously wrong. Move sector capital? Yes. Wait, no. Oh, that moved the capital to there. Oh! Oh, and that fixed it, because I moved the capital. But if I move it back... I think I fixed it. Right, what were you- Oklar Prime, did we ever create one for you? Uh, maybe. So what other ones are in here? So we have Rel- the So you are obviously quite out there. Is there anything else that's within your sector, like this one? Ushko- Ushkaron. So that would be- Yeah, see, this one's in the Oklar Prime- These are in the Oklar Prime sector. Interesting. So Oklar Prime appears to have missed out on its own sector, so that's within four jumps. Two, three... No, that's not within four jumps. Okay. So that shouldn't be in the sector at all. That is it. one, two... Yeah, so this one should be capital right now. So if I make that the sector capital, Oklar Prime is now in it. Is that fine? Does the capital matter? No, I think it just changes what the sect... Oh, so this one's now out. If I now make Oakler Prime the capital again, it's now in. Okay, so that fixed that one. Oh, and this is Rel, this is Rel T Herc one as well. Yeah, so this is messed up as well. So if I make that the capital, Rel now comes in, and then I make it the capital again. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what caused that, but I mean, at least we know what we were able to find the solution. But still, that's weird, right? It's not just me. I think it's weird. Anyway, um, it's probably something to do with integrations and saving the game and all that sort of stuff. Probably something broke it. Right. What are you missing? You're missing a housing. I don't have any housing. If we can get less uh, luxury residences upgrades, that would be good. So this one provides three housing. Do we have anything that provides more than three housing? What does the upgraded fortress provide? Um, we have that somewhere. Is it here? I just need to find somewhere that actually has the fortress at all. So it's not that one. Was it Costa? 
Oh, that's the wrong one. Costa. Yeah, Costa had a stronghold. Cool. So that would provide three housing. This actually provides the exact same amount of housing, which is interesting. It's not necessarily useful, but it provides the same housing. So we could switch that up in Earth, but that doesn't fix our issue. That just creates more jobs, but no more housing. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe next time we get a tech upgrade, we'll try and put, spot something like that. Anyway, let's unpause. And let the game go. Cool. Yeah, that's some weirdness. Yeah, not sure what's up with that. Must just be a bug. Yeah. It looked like it changed the sector capital, maybe? Construction And that was complete. the bug, but it changed it to its own capital? I don't know. Anyway, so you finished the research station. Uh, are you now done, or are you... Yeah, you can probably chill. We may just leave a few science, uh, a few construction ships around the place just so that we don't have to travel with the ones that we have, because it might take a while. Alright, we have some archaeological sites working their way up and down. Ooh, the waiting world, shadows in the walls. Our settlers were initially happy to make use of the districts on Karm Natura. Their existence jump-started the colony, but now they've grown nervous. There are rumours that the facilities may ha still have occupants or active security systems, although no evidence of either has been found. Some colonists insist, enigmatically, that there are shadows in the walls. Um, so discourage the superstition the districts represent years of effort, or why take the risk their only buildings have them demolished? Oh no, we'll, we'll discourage the superstition. Sure. It's fine. Uh, what's this? Independence guaranteed. Oh, okay. Sure. Whatever. We don't need to worry about that for just now. Continue chilling. A Galactic Conet, uh, Oned Choiric Assembly are now spiritualist. Or more spiritualist. So that probably means that they're um, fanatically spiritualist now. Okay. Cool. Right. Uh, what are you doing? Independence guaranteed. Technology independence guaranteed. Ooh, what have we got? Research Institute. Oh, okay. We don't really need that. Jump drive. A dangerous. I'm in. I'm just checking everything else. Yeah, I'm in. So what does it do? Unlocks the initiate jump fleet action. It allows the jump drive equipped fleets to near instanta instantly jump to any system in range, ignoring hyperlanes entirely. I mean, I'm in. I don't know what the consequences are, but I'm in. That sounds extremely dangerous and fun. I mean, I'm totally in for that. Oh, these ones, uh, we've not fixed their job issue. Okay, it's a ruler unemployment. Did we not? We upgraded the administrative park, though, so there should be an extra ruler job available. Right? How many ruler jobs do we... Or did we already fill it up, or what? Oh, it's assembling, it is noticed. Interesting. Um... We have two ruler jobs available, right? Oh no, we have two available ruler jobs, but we have three rulers now. Oh, I guess we must have just got another ruler. Oh. In which case, I'll upgrade this again, and that would increase our jobs, right? Or are there the same number of jobs with the upgrade? Let me just check. So this has two bureaucrat jobs, this has five bureaucrat jobs. So this should be giving five jobs. But we currently only have... Or bureaucrat not the same as administrator. It's not the same as administrator. Oh, okay. So we would actually need this one to be upgraded so we can get another administrator job. There are no administrator jobs that we can get. Okay. So essentially this pop just needs to um, decline, essentially, down to the next level. Or we need to get to 40 pop, which we're actually really close to 40 pop here. Um, I might just build another couple of city districts. Get that one going. You, uh, you're the same issue? Yeah, exact same issue actually by the looks of it. Yeah, and I tried the exact same fix and it still didn't work. Okay, yeah, sure. You've got all your districts, so, I mean, you've got 56 housing. Wait, do you have any jobs available? At all? Apart from the unemployed, you have 12 available jobs. Yeah, so you're fine. Yeah, no, no issues. Uh, anything else? Nope. I almost feel like with this many planets, you need a different way to show it rather than this list, but I have no idea how you would, like, yeah, how I'd want that displayed. Also, is it weird? Is it just me or is it weird that we only have two primitive species and we found them in the same system, pretty much? Um, you've opened your borders with us. Why? Uh, do you want to be my tributary? 
No. Okay. Well, I don't know. They probably just don't care about me, which is why they opened the borders, would be my guess. Uh, found a species. Ooh, tradition! What are we going for? So we get enforcers. Don't need those. What's the upgrade on that? Workers and slaves increased output. So it would be workers' output because we have no slaves, but that's still interesting. Capital buildings and housing buildings provide one additional housing each. That would actually fix our issue on Earth. Or governor uh, level cap increased. Yeah, let's get this, right? Yes. So this means that Earth should now have an additional housing if I wait till it updates. Yeah. So Earth now has three housing available. Does it have any? And it has three available jobs. All in clerks, but three available jobs, three available houses. I, I think that works for me, right? We've just fixed it. Right. Uh, we now have more housing than we know what to do with, which is great. Uh, does that mean that, um, was it Sindagi was having problems? Oh, no, it's fixed. Who, who was it who was having problems? Mars? Well, not really. It's not been built yet. One of these was def- Wait, Rakanax has so many districts available. What happened? Did I miss something? When did it get all these districts? Uh... Huh. Wait a second. What, what, what happened? Uh... I don't know, it must have had a negative that's now worn off, or something? Yeah, okay, well... Build. I don't know what happened, I'm just gonna take advantage of it. It's fine. Right. Oh, uh, have we done this one? I, th I think we've done this one. Let me just check. What were the ones that we still need to do for alien specimen procurement? We got the Ravnus Zulkar, which we do not have border access for. Uh, we have the Insidious... Uh, Snuran and the vile uh, Orinithi. Okay, so, we're, so where's this one? So we have one here, which is bottom of Shantari. Oh, we can definitely grab that one. What else do we have? We have this one, which is the bottom of the Domena League, which we may have access to, and the Galactic Coned uh, Quark Assembly. I think we also have access to then. Would that be this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do we have a science ship? Uh, maybe? <laughs> I might have disbanded them. Okay, wait. Do we have a science ship available somewhere? Actually, do we have a... Zorf, do you have... So if I go down to our shipyards... Where's our nearest shipyard? Hoping that these are flashing. So the Castra shipyard we could build and then get them to head down here. Wait, do we have board? Wait, maybe that's the one we didn't have border access for. Yeah, okay. Well, you can definitely get this one. Uh, and maybe that one? I don't know if we can get the Domana League one. There was a natural wormhole we haven't discovered, which might allow us a way in. Hmm. Okay, let, let me see. Wait, Zadran Order. Although, are they... Wait, are they my tributary? Not tributary. Are they my uh, protectorate? No. They're just the same color as me. They were just sneaking in here. Um, well, we can definitely send someone down here, though. What are you doing right now? Oh, you're excavating. Yeah, okay, we'll send them down after they finish excavating. If I remember, I guess. <laughs> Which is apparently not something that can be guaranteed. Uh, you've entered into a research agreement. You've entered, you've declared someone a rival. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's want to have a look at our XP. Yeah, it's about to fix itself just in time to be absolutely screwed by the integration which happens in two months. We haven't got any new tech? No. Okay. It's because we've got so, many, so much tech we're waiting on. It's like... We just have to chill, I guess. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Federation, I'm just checking. Who's, who's in charge? It's United Sathrathi currently. Okay. And then the Senate's about to come in in 71 days. Okay, cool. I'll just chill. Not Nothing we can do. Costa just got a job. Wonderful. So it now has two available jobs. Now the city district coming in as well. That'll work quite nicely for us. Okay. Uh, anything else that we need to be doing? No. No, it's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Oh, wait, no, okay, this one needs something. Oh, it's still got the... It's, it's the same issue! I, I shouldn't look at it again. 
Oh, you've been successfully integrated. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, they had two planets. Oh, okay. What well, small integration? <laughs> um, well, this is interesting. So, what have we got down here? So, they've got another co potentially habitable one there, which we need to check out. They got a wormhole, which we're obviously going to go and explore. So, what are you doing? You're both assisting research. You're no longer assisting research. You're now exploring the natural wormhole. Okay. What's this? That's a gateway. Okay. Cool. Uh, we are repairing that gateway. I need to check what's up with that. Uh, we have a fleet. I mean, I guess I'm going to send them to go upgrade. Yeah. Whoa, wait. Is there, are there, do you have no shipyards? Wait, wait a second. Chill for two seconds. Right. Yeah, you have a shipyard. Yeah, I thought so. It just didn't know that it was ours yet. Right, you are currently exploring the natural wormhole. What are you doing? Chilling. Okay, do they have any natural resources? Uh, no. They have no natural resources. Why did we take over these places again? <laughs> this this one has no natural resources. It has. It's just like it has nothing. Uh, this one has no leader assigned either. Wait, do either of these have leaders assigned? No, you need a leader. Uh, recruit new scientist. This guy. Okay, you need a new scientist. It's gonna be this one. Uh, there we go. You are probably gonna assist research on whichever one of these has the most research. So you produce zero research and you also produce zero research. Nice. All right, well. Uh, automatic exploration. Sure. Whatever. I mean, what else were you using you for, essentially? Uh, over here? Uh, that one was just, like, off into the distance. Two buildings? Yeah, I think these guys just ran out of resources. I think that's the main issue over here. They just completely ran out of resources. And then just had nothing to do. They're minus seven jo available jobs. So there's seven jobs that aren't fit. Wait. Undesirables, 27. Why are you undesirable? Traits, hive mind, enduring, natural... S oh, is it because they're hive mind? We're purging? No, unpurge. No, no purge. Pur purging bad. How, how do we say no purge? No purge. Um... Prohibited. No purging allowed. Um, okay, wait. Oh, wait a second. I think I just figured it out. Oh no, we've made a horrible mistake. Because they're a hive mind, they're not allowed to be underneath us. And that means that they will get purged. Because hive mind people aren't allowed to be out of the hive mind. So we just killed an entire civilization. Oh. Um. My bad. Um. I guess we'll just build as if we weren't doing that. Minerals into rare crystals. Sure, we'll get a synthetic plant here. On this one, we could go alloys. I mean, we do have some alloys already here, but I'm not really that worried about it. What else might it need? Uh, I don't know. We could go administrative offices, but we don't need it. I guess I could just go science. Yeah, just double double research station here or something like that. Could also go for... Uh, what have we got? Double exotic gas? Yeah. Get more gas coming in here and then upgrade other planets. Uh... You have so you have so many available housing. I guess I'll grab a city district here. Uh, I can clear blockers. Okay. Clear the blockers. That's fine. Uh, and then grab some city districts. I don't know. 
Right, uh, I think we have actually completely destroyed that place. Uh, and then, I would like to... Here... Uh, colonize... Using... I don't know. We have a lot of people with high colonization. We've got three different... Uh, we've got a Cauldronite we could colonize with. That's interesting, right? They consume minerals instead of food. Oh. Huh. All of these do, actually. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, oh, these guys are strong as well. And quick learners. Gaseous byproducts. Um, each pulp of sta living standards of slavery or better produces exotic gases per month. Oh. Interesting. I'm going to chuck... Uh, oh, this one's uh, defense army. Yeah, I'm going to chuck these guys in. Sure. Dongar Prime. Sure. Dongar Prime it is. Uh, sounds ridiculous, but there we go. Um, well, that was an unfortunate one to get. Um, right, do we have the an ability to get another one integrated? So who would we want to integrate next? Who, who are our protectorates? I need to go and have a look at this. Uh, Overlord of Commonwealth Ear... Volta and Sildor Sacred Covenant. Sildor, are you able to be integrated? Not for another six years. Okay. Commonwealth? Not for another six years. So we got them pretty much simultaneously then. Okay. Cool. Um, we have some new people we're closer to as well, uh, which might be interesting. Uh, we are definitely in a dangerous spot where we currently are. Who are you? You look like you have one single place. You would just be a tributary. Because relative power is so just vastly different. Yeah, you know what? We'll just take you as a tributary. Yeah, I mean, the relative power of our two things is so vastly just insanely different that it's like... They, they'll just accept. Uh, how about you over here? As a minus seven, but you would say yes. You're just federation builders. You're you're blank. Um, you, I think you used to be the Everites. Okay. Uh, I would like to offer you a trade deal. I would like some favors. In exchange, I will give you food. Wait, actually, how much did we need? We needed two. Okay. Uh, offer trade deal. Uh, I would like two favors in exchange for food. There we go. That noise is ridiculous. Okay. Offer protectorate status. There we go. Chuck it in. They will now accept. Okay. We are now protected. Oh, I guess these are a spin, a spin off of the Everite Incorporated. Wait, can we get the Everites? They would accept a commercial pact, but we can't do it because we don't have positive relations. Would they accept a protectorate status? Not right now because they're in a federation, but we could get the commercial pact in the research agreement. Let's improve relations using the one from, well, I guess Sildor because we don't need it anymore. Yeah. We'll get both of those. That seems good. We won't accept migration yet, but we'll wait a second or two. Nice. There's commercial pact. There's an election. Ooh, okay. Uh, you know what? I don't want to influence elections anymore. I'm okay with what we got. Right, we should get the next one in any second now. Foreign Empire claims our, our land, so that's the Zadrin Order. Okay. Everite Incorporated has accepted our offers. To embatter new ascensionists? How are you feeling about me? We did improve relations for all. You're hostile. All right. If they weren't hostile, they might say yes. Uh, let's improve with those ones. Yeah, let's try and get away from hostile. Yeah, I mean, they, we don't have to be hostile. We could be chill. Uh, they are currently rivaling the Shantari Mercantile Union, but you know, they don't have to be hostile to us. Ooh, okay. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. This one. The second chamber. The second chamber is unremarkable, aside from another set of alien glyphs above a closed door. They read, Petty kings issued edicts in my name. 
Empires waged war in my honor. Fools sang my praises. I would have none of it. No secret wall panel has yet been found that provide access to the third chamber. Alright, well keep looking. What are you missing? You're missing the ruler job, you're also missing the ruler job. So we just need more pop in both of them. Oh, you know what I could do? I could... Not encourage planetary growth, because that is not something available to me right now. Apparently. Uh, I don't know where encourage planetary growth went. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, we could make a, this new world a resort world, I just realized. Because we're uh, opening it up. We could make Mars a resort world if we hadn't already built districts on it. Can I destroy districts? I could demolish. Wait, so if I wanted to make this... If I wanted to make this an exo uh, a resort world, what would I need to do? Planet size needs to be greater than 15. Oh, it was only 13. Never mind. So I couldn't make that resort world anyway. What have we got here? Uh, natural Sanctuaries? Is that the new one? I think it is. Reduces diplomatic weight from economy. I oppose. <laughs> I definitely oppose with our 10,000 uh, diplomatic weight. Yeah, that's crazy. You would need the next four to disagree with me. To equal me, basically. It's the next four strongest. And, like, one of them's in our federation. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, okay. What have we got here? Leader dead. It's an envoy. Okay, sure. Don't need to worry about that one. Uh, I thought I told you to go and upgrade. Oh, you are. You just you just moved that slowly. What are we voting on? Uh, Senate floor. Voting on building a better tomorrow. So diplomatic weight from economy goes up. You know, gotta say, I like it. Also, minerals goes up from jobs, which would be cool for us. And alloys from jobs is actually not that bad. Maybe it gives us an extra five alloys, but hey, our alloys are now trending upwards, which is cool. What's the Federation XP? Oh, it keeps dropping. That's fine. It's because we uh, keep integrating members of the Federation. Oh, well. Right. Uh, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.